Let's take a look at my ever-growing collection of generic rounds. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. I'm going to take a look at our generic rounds and other government bullion other than the U.S. Mint, so there will be no eagles in this. But I had a video a while back where I showed all my generic and other world countries bullion rounds, and it has grown substantially since then. And what prompted me to do this is I recently went down, and I just love picking up any kind of generic rounds that my LCS has. So, of course, there's the Sunshine Mint. I'm just going to go through here and take a look at all these, except for the ones where I have some duplicates. Here's another one, and I haven't really done any research on this one yet. I like it. Yeah. Remnant. Yeah, a little bit like the Peace Dollar. Yeah. Except the Eagle is the other way. And then this one, and as I've stated many times, I love the trade unit rounds, and this is one of them. Always like round with a set of scales on it. So let's continue to dissect some of these. I huh. want you, Uncle Sam. And a flag on the back. And almost a face reveal on one side. Oh, well, it wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> Steve Rice gave me this one. Confederate dollar. With the horsey on it. Yeah, really like that one. And this is what, uh, Gettysburg? Yeah. Yeah, it's got part of the Gettysburg address on that one. Yeah, I figure there's about, probably about 100 ounces here. And this looks like a, was it Britannia probably? Yeah, Britannia. Looks like a Philharmonic. Oh, another Philharmonic. We should have more Britannias. There's someone. Alright. This looks like a generic Walking Liberty. Oh yeah. It's at uh, the dawn of a new millennium. I just like picking up anything if it's cheap. And I like the design. I have that one upside down. I did. This is the Texas Alamo one. All right. Looks like a, what is this, a Mullen Lab? Yep. I come and take it. Looks like we got a kook. Oops. Another kook. I think one was a 2018, the other's a 2019. They're pretty, I like those. Oh, looks like a Libertad. I try to get about one of all the different types of government bullion, and then I'll see if I pick on one a little bit more. This would be 
World Trade Center One. And the Twin Towers. Mm-hmm. Nice little round. Looks like the Twin Towers again. Nine eleven. Oh, this is another one of the, I had two of those. Mm -hmm. Time to do a face reveal. Don't tread on me. This is from the Silver Shield series. Yeah. We have a few of those. They're all kind of different. Well, the Justice Justice series. No, it's a Silver Shield. Oh, is it still a Silver Shield? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna flip half these over wrong because I'm not. Some are one way and some are the others. We got here. Well, it's Queen Elizabeth on the front. Angel? Oh, yeah. It's Michael. Angels and Dragons. Where he slayed the dragon. Mm. This is that one I thought I had at TV had talked about. But it's not from the U.S. Mint. Republic of Liberia. Yeah, probably made in Scottsdale. Oh, and there's a kangaroo. So there's one of those stacks. Put that one off to the side. Uh, I got a few of these, the St. Gaudens ones. They came from Silvertown. Yes. They are in the bottom. I, think I got what, four or five of those? There's another one, so we won't look at that. There's one of my favorite. The USS Constitution. Really like that round. From the Liberty Mint. Oh, I got one. One of these common buffaloes. I make so many of these rounds, but I like to only have one. If I ever get another one, I'll probably just uh, give it away in a gall. Yeah, give it away in a gall. <laughs> I'm not a really big fan of those ones. They're just so numerous. Which one is this? Newy on the top. Oh, it's the double dragon. And this is oh the rum runner from Antigua and Barbuda rum rum runner. So it looks like we got a prospector here. Nope. Pony Express. Let's see. I would say the Golden State Mint. Looking at this one. If I were to take a guess, Golden State Mint on that one. Sunshine Mint, right, probably, 
Yes. Well, it looks like we got another Philharmonic. Uh, looks like another Britannia. It is. Let's see what this one is. This is, I guess, from the Liberty Mint. I think that's for engraving. Yeah. Uh, Golden State Mint. Their pro Prospector Series. The Buffalo on the back. Let's see. That's, that's got to be a maple, isn't it? Hmm. Looking at that side, I would think it's a maple. Yep, it's a maple. We should have two of those. Yeah, there's the other one right there. They're a little pretty mint down there. Oh, let's see here. We got a... Privately minted, I don't know who yet. Money Metals Exchange. Uh, Money Metals again. This would be the uh, first one in that series of was the Capital. U.S. and United States Capitol. Mine's already got some weird markings going on it. Came like that. Yeah, it really did. I was disappointed with that one. More from the Golden State Mint. Another St. God's one's from Silvertown. Another one from Silvertown. Looks like we got a. I mean, uh, Cougaran? Cougaran. Gotcha. Yep. And what is this? Symbol of freedom. Ah, there you go. Another trade unit one. All right, so those were, out of all the stacks that I had loose, those are a lot of different variety. A lot of what's in front of you have got some duplicates, so this will take a lot more longer to get through. Okay, so let's continue on. Like I said, this doesn't contain any American Silver Eagles, and these are just my one-ounce and two-ounce rounds with a couple minor exceptions here and there in my stack. So, I can't remember who I got this 10 ounce starter pack from. Maybe it says on the back. It does not. But got 10 of those and I know it was a starter pack. Probably one of my prior videos. I think I got this from Provident. 20 ounce. I think this was like 49 cents over spot, so I got to roll 20 of those. They're all the same coin. Uh, well, no, that was from that one. My bad. Then another one where they're all the Prospector series. All 10 of those are of this design. And then here's all my two ounce rounds. Intaglio Mint, 
and Mercury Ultra High Relief. It's just beautiful. And I got two of those. So. And then all my Mullen Lab ones. Let's see if I get these in the right order. I believe this is the type one. The type two. The type three. And the type four. And they all have that reverse. So I'll just show that one. And those are all my two. Oh, wait, there's one more. The Battlefield Cross. And that's a really nice one. So now let's get to some of the ones that I keep in the capsules. And this is actually United States government commemoratives. There's just no original box or COA. So I've got those two. I believe I bought that from a friend at work. 15 bucks each. I really like the Eagles. Most of these I've already got videos on. I've just never put them all out on the table one time. I figured why not? Let's do a recap and have them all out at one time. And so I got some chews. I believe this is the 2018. And then we got the 2019. Not my favorite. No. And then this is the 2017. I do not have the 2016 as of yet. Well, I'm going to have to get it just so they got the entire series. And I got what? It's like a little half ounce. I think this is Mon Monument Metals. Yes. Let's see, Fiji, Mermaid, Scottsdale Mint, did this, I believe. Uh, Queen's Anne's Revenge, Blackbeard. The first in that series. What are these, the Four Horsemen? It's the Black Horse, the White Horse, the Red Horse, and what is this, Pale Horse? Yeah, <laughs> that's sort of a neat one too, I like that one. Two ounce Destiny Dragon. You really like this one. Yeah, he looks like he's going to come out of that coin and kill you. From the Destiny series. That's pretty cool round. Oh, we got all the dragons here. World of Dragons. Chinese. And that's our latest one. Was that the Norse? And they all have that design on the reverse. And then the Pegasus. I love the Pegasus. Yeah, it's one of your favorites. Well, look at all those feathers on those wings. Yeah, it's pretty coin. Pretty coin. Well, there you have it, everyone. Oh, I still got, what, 
anymore. Oh, I got three of these. I used to have five of these. I've given one away in a giveaway. My dad really likes the Apollo series, so I got, I had five of those lunar ones from Perth Mint, but I'm down to three. I won't lose any more. I'm going to keep at least the three. Those were a little bit of a premium on those. So, what? Over about the last year, I really started getting a lot more of these. Um, so I got about anywhere between 100 to 110 ounces of silver there. It's not counting any of my five ounce pieces, which I've got a handful of those. I'll do a separate video on that. But I thought it was just time to update this. It had grown so much and I haven't had it all together in a long time to be able to showcase all in one shot. So here you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. Bye, everyone.